Hello everyone. So in the previous video, I gave you a question to think about, right? Which was that was the result that sine alpha equal to cos beta general or it was valid for the special class of triangles which you were dealing with, right? The root 3, uh, 2x, uh, root 3x, x and 2x triangle. Now, those of you who tried it with multiple Pythagorean triplets fi will find that this is a general result. And in this video, we are going to see if it's actually a general result or it, if it's valid for Pythagoras theorem, uh, Pythagoras triplets or not. Now, if you watch my uh, second video closely and look at, uh, look at how these ratios are defined to, uh, you know, as the ratio of sides, then I think uh, th this will be a lot helpful when we talk about the equality of these ratios. So first let me draw a triangle, okay? A right angle triangle. So let us call this angle as theta and this angle as phi. This will be 90 degrees. Now let us label these sides, okay? So this is x, this is y, and this is z. Now, now in order to prove the results, we uh, first we need to find a relation between theta and phi. Now you should be able to do this do this on your own. See, theta plus phi plus 90 degrees. This one will be equal to. 180 degrees. We know this from our angle sum property of a triangle that all the angles of a triangle will add up to 180 degrees. Now, if we rearrange this, we get, so 90 goes there and 90, we get phi as 90 degree minus theta. Okay, 90 and then this was theta over there. Now, we can write this phi as 90 minus theta of course that's in degrees now let us consider the ratios uh, the trigonometric ratios of theta and 90 degree Nin uh, theta and phi which is 90 minus theta so first of all let us consider sine theta now, sine theta is x upon z that is clear and cos theta cos theta will be base upon hypotenuse which will be y upon z similarly tan theta will be equal to perpendicular divided by base so x upon y now let us look now let us consider 90 minus theta or phi in this case now sine of 90 minus theta Okay, because this is phi and we can replace phi by, by 90 minus theta. So, sine 90 minus theta will be, this will become the perpendicular in this case, right? So, the perpendicular changes. Therefore, the base will change. Now, this is the important thing. This is the reason why uh, these values keep, uh, the values will interchange in one sense. Because the base and, uh, the base and the perpendicular will change according to the angle which we consider. Now, let us come back. So, sin theta will be y upon z. Okay. Cos 90 minus theta. Cos of this angle. This angle is phi. Again, let me remind you. So, we are essentially writing 90 minus theta instead of phi. And of course, this is 90 degrees and this entire thing is in degrees. So, cos 90 minus theta will be base upon hypotenuse so x upon z and similarly tan of 90 minus theta will be y upon x y upon x now clearly sin x uh, sin of theta which is which is x upon z is the cos of this angle cos of phi cos of 90 minus theta why because the perpendicular um, see 
when we talk in terms of this angle theta this will be the perpendicular but if we uh, talk about 90 minus theta this will be the base so when we uh, say that we are going to take the ratio of perpendicular to the hypotenuse for this theta we will take x upon z now if we talk from a 90 minus theta's point of view this side will be the base and if we take the cos of 90 minus theta we are getting this side the same side uh, upon z so we are getting x upon z in both the cases so we can write as sin theta is equal to the cos of 90 minus theta now i need you to uh, prove this prove this the other way around so cos of theta is equal to the what i need you to prove is cos of theta is equal to the sin of 90 minus theta this is purely uh, this will follow the same logic okay now let us uh, consider tan okay we have done we are done with this let us consider tan tan of theta now see the thing which you should notice is that we have x upon y here okay we have y upon x here y upon x is the reciprocal of x upon y okay now which which means that tan of 90 minus theta is the reciprocal of tan theta correct or uh, therefore with the similar logic we can say that tan of theta is the what the reciprocal of tan of 90 minus theta right because see x if y upon x is the reciprocal of x upon y then x upon y will be the reciprocal of y by x this is clear so this will be the reciprocal of uh, tan 90 minus theta right but what is tan 90 minus theta 1 upon tan 90 minus theta cot theta right cot so tan of theta will be 1 upon this angle right this is this uh, uh, the same angle we're talking about cot of 90 minus theta right so we have the tan of this angle will be equal to the cot of this angle sine of this angle will be equal to the cos of this angle so in this video i have done two two proofs and rest of them are easy because you know so the similar logic you can prove that cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta and then um, cot of theta will be tan tan of 90 minus theta now these functions which uh, behave you know behave in this way uh, sine and cos cot uh, tan and cot and one upon the reciprocal of these ratios this is cosec theta and sec theta right so this is an easy proof so you can you know, take the reciprocal of both sides so 1 by sin theta will be equal to the uh, will equal to 1 upon cos theta so we can say that cosec theta will be equal to sec 90 minus theta now these things which we have just proved are very useful while solving many problems and these happen to be very interesting right so we get the relations between the trig, trig values for theta and the opposite angle these things are called cofunctions okay so that's the that's uh, that's it these things are called cofunctions which uh, are equal to the Nine, uh, other angle except 90 degrees so in the next video we will solve some problems uh, which using our cofunction properties okay so i hope this helps and thanks for watching bye